Oh, what's going on, everybody here, and welcome back to Junk Punk. So we're back. We're checking it out. Uh, they just had an update not too long ago. Actually, I think it was like yesterday at the time of recording this. Where they unlocked Monolith 2. Now, we never even got to like the first Monolith. We never really got to checking that out. But they changed a lot of things in the game. They changed how a lot of things work. And uh, yeah, I think it's a great time to come back and check this out. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, like, subscribe, all the things. We're going to start a new game here. Uh, we're just going to do normal. Junk Punk is probably like super hard. Uh, we're just going to do normal. We're going to start a fresh new game. Now, if you don't know what this is, it's a, it's a little bit of like a um, survival factory building uh, automation, but there's like, you know, overall resources and goals and things like that. So um, it looks pretty cool. looks pretty neat. And yeah, I'm really excited to get back into this and get some like automation stuff going. All right. Begin reboot initialization. Uh, QSD boot success. Leaf OS running. Huh? Leaf. Uh, initially camera ray. Yes. Can we have a camera? I can't see nothing. Hey, there we go. Camera. Array initializing, initializing uh, motors, hydraulics. <gasps> Can we wake up and become, become one? Hey, repair yourself and find answers. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we got some message, damage detected, all that fun stuff. Uh, added to data log. Let's see. Okay. So we've got origins here. Uh, we'll go through and I'll read these a little bit later. Oh, here we got our uh, messages. So tab opens UI. Q opens inventory. E is to interact, F is to laser, P to pause, T is torch, flashlight, escape main menu, place items, right? Okay, cool. That seems easy enough. Is this the repair thing right here, maybe? Or was this the repair thing? Did I not read this? No, we already got that one. I think we need to head over here. Um, This is... Origins, analyzation, progress. Okay. Um, so anyways, what we have is we have a scrap everywhere. As you can see, there's scrap junk everywhere. And uh, we're going to make things out of this. Ooh, we're going to make things. So there's Monolith 1 right there. That is the first one that we need to get going. And then I actually don't even know where Monolith 2 is. Uh, because this map is significantly larger than uh, what I what I used to think it is. Or like what, what it looks like. You, you wouldn't think the map would be huge on that. Well, it is. It's big. Um, so we're going to go ahead. I'm going to head over here because I think there's a nice flat surface to build our factory. Yeah, right in this area. So we'll start building a factory here. And then uh, we'll kind of see what's going on. So let me go ahead. Let's grab some junk. Look at that. Scrap, meta scrap metal buckets. Oh, this brings me back. This, You know, I remember the first time I played this. I, it's such a fun little... I love this game. It's so fun. So it looks like the UI has changed a little bit as well. So we got 97 battery. We have a hundred. I'm going to guess that's health probably overall. So we're going to need to get some like power, some recharging capabilities, things like that going. Okay. So I went through, grabbed, grabbed a few things. Let's see what we can go, what we can get going here. Now, another thing that I saw in the update is they actually removed the requirement for like structural integrity, I think. So now you can kind of build wherever. I think before it had like a, a similar kind of structural integrity thing of like um, like Valheim or whatever. Um, but I think that is gone now. So maybe we'll get a big foundation. Can we rotate this? Is there a rotate? Um, what is that? NWR. I don't even know what that is. Is there a way to like rotate this? Oh, R. Ha, R to rotate. Okay, let's see. Um, maybe we'll just go ahead and like get something. Let's do something like that, maybe. And uh, we're just gonna get a couple foundations in here. Nothing like super crazy. Just enough to uh, have like a place to work and call home, you know? What the heck is going on here? There we go. Perfect. Okay, so that'll work. Now, um, I think we need some power stuff, right? So battery, scrap solar panel, scrap wind generator, power pole, base, roof, horizontal pillar, player. Okay, recharge station. Yes. So we need some copper scrap and basic capacitor. Now, can we make... Uh, I think we should be able to make a workbench of something. Let's see. Is that in here? That might be under crafting bench okay so let's just get a crafting bench in here maybe and then let's go over here to the crafting bench okay so uh mission protocol number one oh there's there's things going on build a base foundation pillar large wall 
two doors okay so we'll have to build that too um but we're gonna do this first <laughs> so five copper and two capacitors basic capacitor oh those require a lot of stuff um maybe we should go do some grabbing of some things because we got rubber stuff over there um let's see what else did we need for this those capacitors it was like some kind of like electrical stuff copper steel plastic and rubber okay let's go see if we can't find some stuff over here it looks like there's something green right here maybe is this plastic scrap yay it looks like there's some plastic scrap in here okay let's grab some of this and then we'll uh hopefully get our thing hit made i want to make sure that we get our recharging station built like as soon as possible you know because if you like run out of charge i'm sure that's going to be terrible <laughs> now while we're at, still at 93 percent, i i feel like oh we got a basic capacitor times one. Oh, maybe we'll just harvest them find them randomly that'd be amazing <gasps> oh we got resistors oh i thought it was basic i thought it was another basic thing i was like yay <laughs> that'd be awesome um oh this is electronic scrap okay oh basic capacitor actually i think we have enough now <laughs> yeah i like it okay so let's go ahead and let's head in here uh what did we need we need two we need copper scrap actually that's all we need let's see if we can't get some copper scrap um two three four five okay i think we might be good basic recharging station okay here we go so let's just get that maybe like right here now this thing doesn't have any power i don't believe um yeah i don't i don't think we have any uh grid generation grid usage machine generation machine usage. okay so they did change how the way that power works too which is actually kind of cool um it used to be like number based you know each thing's required so many numbers well, now it's just like a grid and like the overall grid. You know what I mean? So like the splitters, they would split power like 50-50. So if you had 10 power, five would go out one direction, five would go out the other. Well, now I think it's just like a, a basic grid thing where you don't have to worry about which numbers are specifically going to which places. So let's go with the wind generator. Five small gears. Can we go ahead and make those small gears? One, one, oh. Was that steel scrap? Oh, okay, so let's get some more steel scrap. And then steel gears. So we've got seven small gears. Scrap wind generator. Okay, so we should be good. Um, let's go ahead and get that there, maybe. And then we probably should get a power pull at some point. I think that'll be okay um and then we need connections we need a power cable uh we need a, a, a power cable <laughs> power cable is there a power cable here power cable uh we got one okay let's see if we can get the one power cable hooked up here so in here power cable from there to there oh we should be good are we charging can we charge yes we are magically charging our batteries. Okay, good. Whew. All right, so that one's done. Now we're good. Um, I'm going to actually go ahead and wait till it's daytime so we can see what's going on here. But we need to get some, like, just basic things going. Um, So some containers will probably be good. Some machines, we need to start getting those going. And we're going to take a trip up to the, um, the Monolith 1. So that way we can see, like, what the goal is here. Because Monolith 1 has a goal for us. And that's what we're going to be trying to do here is try to get monolith one going and then hopefully move on to monolith two which good gosh i have no idea where that's game gonna be at oh i wonder if that's monolith two over there because we got number one here is that o2 over there oh maybe it is maybe it is oh there's another one over there okay cool so i made my way over here to the monolith because we need to get in here we need to see what we're going uh what we're going for now i think they actually it looks like they made this easier to get up to <laughs> oh man it was kind of uh, interesting monolith build up to data recovery uh module where did i don't even know where that was so let's grab this let's grab base and let's grab stairs 
And basically, we're just going to try to... Uh, we're just going to build up to these things. Now, lucky for us, they got rid of the whole structural integrity thing. So we don't no longer have to worry about that, which is super nice because it makes getting up here super easy. I remember the first time we had to get up here is like we had to put supports like everywhere. It was interesting to say the least. <gasps> here it is. Welcome. LGA oh, Cafe. thank you. I have tried to connect with your system. They appear to have been damaged. They have. We are far behind schedule. We must recover these lost time as quickly as possible. Day one begins? I am Pan. A sentient AI tasked to restore this planet. Updating data log now. Okay, so we've got uh, day one begins. Construct the tech key and activate first stage. Biological Tech key. Oh, so if we activate all of these things, that's going to activate uh, atmospheric stabilization. Okay, so we've got to have 200, 250, 180, 240, 150. So we have to have a lot of things. So we're going to have to set up some processing here in order to get those gone. Uh, and then biological key constructor so we're gonna have to get uh water soil gold aluminum and then all the different plant types so we're gonna have to have some farming stuff going and then i believe we can go up here this is such a cool mission this is such a cool the monoliths in this game are so cool like i think they are absolutely amazing um and then a biological key activator so we'll put the key in here to activate that um uh, auto seed synthesis time remaining C generator alpha beta gamma delta epsilon okay so i'm not going to take any of those seeds until we're ready to uh to start doing that stuff where's our platform here okay let's go up to this, let's go up to this next level let's see what's going on up here this is probably going to be what the tech key tech key activation okay cool oh, so neat so we got to do the tech key and the biological key and then we have to activate the the monolith world transformation that just sounds like a, such a good time doesn't it <laughs> i'm curious to see like if the world will actually change you know like we've been playing planet crafter a lot lately i wonder if we'll actively see like the change or not i'm curious holy it's dark oh my gosh there's monolith five over there so it almost seems like we're gonna have each monolith do a stage of the terraformation so like we activate monolith one it's gonna you know complete like you know stage one of terraformation which is like you know atmosphere and all that stuff oh my gosh that would be super cool and then like as we go along each each monolith stage is gonna unlock something else oh that's that would be super cool um and then right now we have up to two so we need to get the first one done and then we can start working on the second one and see what's going on with that oh i'm excited okay so now we've got some resources here let's go ahead and let's look at some stuff so we've got some doorways containers honestly the 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 large containers are probably the containers that i'd want to build because uh we can hook up belts to them you know what let's actually just go with a small container for now just so we can have some storage because i have like way too many things in my uh is it shift click oh perfect Okay, so that'll give us some room for some stuff. And then I guess like the first couple things is like a shredder, shred scrap metal and other items. I'm pretty sure that shreds it into dust. And then the smelter turns the dust into scrap, but I think it like increases how much? Industrial laser. What? I have no idea. We're going to build these machines and figure them out because it's been a little while since i figured these things out um and then we have to have a whole farming area too um water pump water tank record player okay all right so let's go ahead and let's start off with um you know what i'm gonna start off with clearing this whole area right here of scrap so that way we have a nice area to build on okay so i got some stuff cleared out here now Let's go ahead and look at our machines here. So the shredder, I think, is the start of everything. 
Then we have input shredder, belt fed shredder that feeds scrap metal. Oh. Oh. So this shredder, belt fed shredder that shreds scrap metal and other items. So this one we always had to do by hand. There was no way to automate anything with it. So this one being belt fed means that we could go from a storage container to a shredder and then separate it and then oh my gosh okay all right so this is what i this is what i like to see um i want to do the input shredder i want to have a basic motor times two and the reason for that is because i want not enough inventory space uh the reason for that is because i want to um hold on can we get some of these piles to stack nothing will stack together Okay, there we go. We got we got some stackings. Uh, let's see. I don't know what I, I don't know what I need exactly, uh, but I want to be able to put everything into a storage container and have it automatically be shredded, and then we can have it sorted after that. Um, craft. Oh, we crafted four. So input shredder. Let's go ahead and let's get a uh, let's get the base in here. Let's get a big foundation, and let's start that maybe like right here. Hold on. Can you line up, please? All right, it's kind of hard to see because it's like super dark. Um, we'll have to see if there's some lights or something that we get in here, but input shredder. Okay, so input. Oh, yes. All right, so we'll put that there. So we've got an input shredder. So this should machine controls. Uh, no recipe selected. Oh, we do actually have to select the recipe, but it has storage and then we can turn it on and off. Okay. So that's good. So it will, it'll do scrap metal, rubber scrap, electronic scrap, plastic scrap, and rare metal scrap. And then I'm pretty sure those go into a smelter. Um, afterwards, pretty sure those go into a smelter afterwards. Now, would we want to separate the shredded contents, separate shredded contents? Would we want to separate those first and then have them all go into their own smelter? I'm not actually 100% sure on this one. You know, what? let's get the base expanded out here. The base is just not big enough. We're going to get like some we're going to get like one line going just to kind of see like what's going on here, you know? So, let's do the separator. And then the separator should be able to go there. And then can we get a smelter? We need large gears. Okay, so let's see if we can't make some large gears real quick. Large gears. Or five. Oh, that's going to get moved. <laughs> There's not even remotely enough room for that thing. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get some basic things kind of figured out here. And then we'll from there we'll do you know refining, making things look better, work better, you know, things like that. Okay. So let's go to machines, smelter. So it's going to need to be like right, what right there? Wait, what do I not have something? Oh, I don't have any steel scrap. Okay, let's go make some steel scrap real quick. This is why we need to get these things running, is because we're running at where like we need some of the, like we need just all the basic scrap right now. Was it five? I think it was five. Yes. All right, so smelter. Pretty sure. Let's see here. How do we have these things lined up ish? Like that, maybe? All right. And then we have to select a recipe on these as well. But I mean, each one of these has storage, so it will be able to store a little bit of stuff. Um, and then we can kind of figure out. So, okay, so recipe stealing it is steel scrap, copper scrap is copper, gold is gold, rubber is rubber, plastic is plastic, aluminum contaminated okay so none of these require like the same item so honestly like once something starts getting full we'll just start making that item i guess and then this thing wait a second scrap shredded makes steel wait what what is this this does 
Okay, hold on a second. This separator is different. This separator takes shredded stuff and turns it into regular stuff. Oh, so steel scrap can be made from three scrap. Three shredded scrap can be turned into one steel or three shredded scrap can be turned into one copper or 10 shredded scrap can be turned into gold. So this machine is actually going to turn the dust into other things. So this is just going to make dust. And then this is actually going to essentially smelt it into the scrap. Okay, that's what I was thinking the smelter did. Okay, so it's a little bit different. Um, You know what? Hold on. We actually need to go through and... How do I deconstruct? Um, Okay, apparently I can just do that and like just mine it. <laughs> um, Okay, so the separator is going to actually give us the scrap right now. interesting that's not actually at all what i was expecting it to do for some reason okay uh nonetheless we could we could still get this going we can still get things going and things being made here because we've got outputs we've got inputs we can start increasing our scrap amount uh what do we need for our large container okay so that's gonna have to go hold on let's go ahead and get a uh, base Get that right in here, maybe. Okay, so there's that. So we're gonna want this to go directly into here. Basically, everything's gonna go into a straight line, I think. Uh, maybe. Yeah, we'll just run everything into, into a straight line and we'll just not have machines on. So we'll leave that machine off and then we'll just won't have recipes selected. Okay. All right. So now we need conveyor belts. Let's get this thing figured out. I'm so excited about this connections. Uh, scrap belt. Okay. So from there to there, uh, there to there and then there to there. All right. We've got belts hooked up. Oh, <gasps> This is so exciting. Uh, but now we need power. How much power is this thing generating? Uh, generation is four kilowatts usage is two objects two. Okay. So now we're going to get power hooked up to all of these things. And then we're going to need to get enough power to run them all. So let's see. We've got power on this side, power on this side. Is there power on both sides of these? Oh, there's only one now. So before there was an input and an output on every machine, and now there's only one. Okay, so this is going to be interesting as well because we're going to have to run power lines to everything. Um, do I even have any wire? I don't even know if I have any power, power line, power cable. Not enough materials. Copper and rubber. Um, I have no copper scrap. Did I throw that into here maybe? Nope. Let's just go ahead and make some copper scrap because we got to get everything hooked up here. Um, I'm probably going to have to build a... Pow what? Rubber scrap. Oh, we got to make it into copper scrap first. All right, so there's those. Um, I think we're going to need to make this power pole thing. Oh my gosh, that is expensive. Connects up to four power cables. Interesting. Yeah, because before these all had inputs and outputs, so you could connect them together. But it doesn't really seem that way now, unless I can run a cable. So, okay, so if I grab the cable, let me go to connections, power cable. Can I go from this again? No. Interesting. And we've got one, two, three, four machines that need hooked up from um, a singular power source. And in order to build that power source, we're going to need two capacitors and three steel scrap. So we're out of plastic scrap. Actually, I have plastic scrap. Um, we're apparently out of copper scrap we have two 
Steel scrap, we have none. Okay, uh, and then this. Now, can we do it? They give us five. Okay, we'll just do nine. And then we need... Okay, so we should be good. So let's get a power pull... in here so we're gonna get one up here actually to connect up more uh wind turbines and then we're gonna have to have one right there ish i guess i don't know it's gonna be weird i think eventually we're gonna have a a separate floor to like run power stuff on okay, so there's that one so we'll hook this one to there this one to there, and then this one to there. And then I want to actually go ahead and take this power cable out and then put a power cable from here to there, and then from here to there, okay. So that it has everything connected. Uh, we probably need another wind turbine at least. Two large gears. Let's get two more large gears. Okay, so that should give us a second. Ah, well now we're out of scrap metal. Well, that's okay. Scrap metal is like the easiest thing to get. All right, so wind generator there. And then connections power cable there to there. So now we've got grid generation eight, grid usage eight. We have, so everything can go. Oh shoot, everything is running. Um, I don't know what you're even making. So let's go ahead and let's start with putting in. Should we put in all of our scraps? Hold on, does copper scrap turn into anything? If I go into here, does copper scrap go into here? Copper scrap. So there's actually no, we don't need to put copper in there because it, it doesn't, it turns it, hold on a second. Does it turn it into copper dust? No, okay, copper doesn't even go in here anyways. So, scrap metal, rubber scrap, electronic scrap, plastic scrap, and rare metal scrap can go in here. But copper itself does not. And neither does steel or gold. Copper, steel, gold, contaminated. Contaminated doesn't go in there. I guess it's all just the basic stuff. So let's throw that in there. Rubber, aluminum, electronics, plastic. Okay, so we'll throw those in there. Then let me grab the rest out of these. And then rare metal I know goes in there, but I don't think anything else does. Now it's not gonna be making anything on its own. So let's go ahead and let's just do uh, scrap shredded. So now it's gonna start shredding that scrap. And it's gonna send it here. And then we could do, if we want, you know, whatever we want, we'll, we'll put it on there. But I don't need anything right now. So we can just go ahead and turn that off. And we'll just let that kind of pile up. Interesting. Okay, so now I guess we'll leave copper, steel, contaminated, aluminum, and gold. We'll leave those in here because I, I mean, they can't really do anything. And I feel like we should also probably go ahead and get some bigger storages for these items and for these items. And then I basically just need to go ahead and clean up a whole bunch of stuff. How big are the medium containers? You know, let's go with the medium container. Let me go get some scrap metal and we'll get some medium containers in here to store the other stuff. Oh, day two begins. I hope there's not a rush to get anything done. All right, so first medium container. I'm gonna get this just like right next to that one. And this one's gonna be right next to that one, hopefully. 
Why won't this one just go right next to this one? Oh, okay, there we go. All right. So now these large containers can hold a lot more. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and let's get this container holding like all of our little um, like items that we find. And then we'll go ahead and grab these. And then these will go into this container for now. That way we can see what we got. And then I should be able to go ahead and throw in so I could basically throw this stuff in if I wanted to. Uh, do I want to throw that in yet? Because we actually need some of that scrap for, you know, building stuff. Man, it is so dark. Oh, it's about to be daytime. <laughs> Thank goodness. I feel like we've been playing this whole episode in the dark. Oh, I wish there was like a gamma up button or something. Or it's just like some lights or something that we could build. Because to... it's like, it's like dark. It's just, it is. It's a really dark kind of kind of game. It's fun to play, but I can imagine watching it. It's, you know, it's dark. All right, so we got some uh, we got some dust in here. We got some shredded stuff. I'm gonna go ahead. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and let's throw these all in there, and we'll let this um, do sh uh, scrap, regular scrap, because we we're gonna have a bunch in there, and then that can go in here, and then we can start getting. I don't know. We'll put it on. You know, we'll put it on something. We'll put it on like you know gold for a little bit, and then steel for a little bit, and just basically you know kind of like split our resources, and then hopefully get more resources because we basically need to get all these resources, you know, because we're gonna need this for like all kinds of things. Oh, look at that! It's super nice and like daylight out. How wonderful! Look at that! We got like a base. We got something going here. I am excited. I'm excited. So. We've got to build basically a hundred of every one of those regular items, which we need machines in order to do that. Um, the next machine that we're probably going to go ahead and build, we need to get the fabricator because the fabricator actually will build said items for us. And it builds them at a better rate, I believe, than handcrafting them. So we can go through, we can throw all the resources into the, the, uh, the, the manufacturer deal and it will automatically make them for us. So we don't have to sit there and make, you know, all... 200 or 100 items by hand for every single item even though it really won't take that long uh still it'll, it'll be nice but um yeah that's actually gonna end this first episode hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did like subscribe all fun things again this is junk punk link down below if you want to check it out for yourself and uh we will be back because i want to get monolith one done and i want to get monolith two done we're gonna make it happen it's gonna be a series we're gonna make it we're gonna do the things until we finish those two monoliths so uh yeah make sure you're subscribed make sure you like a like make sure you hit the bell icon to be notified of future videos and i'll see you in the next one hi everybody